Here's a story from the point of view of a young healer named Nora in ancient Iraq, inspired by the legend of Gilgamesh and his quest for immortality. In the bustling city of Uruk, nestled on the banks of the mighty Euphrates River, I, Nora, lived as a young healer. From an early age, I had been fascinated by the power of medicine and the ability to alleviate the suffering of others. The stories of Gilgamesh, the legendary king of Uruk and his search for immortality, ignited a flame of curiosity within me. Eager to learn, I sought wisdom from the wisest healers and scribes in the land. Their teachings shaped my understanding of the healing arts, from the use of herbal remedies to the intricacies of surgery. Guided by their knowledge, I ventured into the surrounding lands, collecting rare herbs and studying the properties of plants. One day, news of Gilgamesh's great quest reached my ears. The king, haunted by the loss of his friend Enkidu, had set out on a journey in search of eternal life. The notion intrigued me, for deep within my heart, I believed that the true essence of medicine lay in granting comfort, healing, and extending life. Driven by a desire to aid Gilgamesh in his quest, I embarked on my own adventure. Venturing into the untamed wilderness, I sought the guidance of ancient wise women and hermits, those rumored to possess mystical knowledge of the world's secrets. During my travels, I encountered a wise woman named Ishtar, known for her profound understanding of herbs and healing. She recognized my determination and agreed to share her wisdom, revealing to me a hidden oasis, a place rumored to hold the key to immortality. Navigating treacherous paths and enduring hardships, I arrived at the sacred oasis. Surrounded by lush greenery and sparkling waters, it felt as if I had stepped into a realm untouched by time. In the heart of the oasis, a solitary plant stood tall, a remarkable herb said to grant everlasting life. Trembling with anticipation, I carefully plucked the leaves of the precious herb. Its fragrance filled the air, and a sense of hope and possibility washed over me. With the herb in hand, I made my way back to Uruk, eager to share this discovery with Gilgamesh. Upon my return, I found the city in turmoil. Gilgamesh, having faced the trials of his own quest, had returned to Uruk a changed man. His journey had taught him the true value of life, the importance of friendship, and the inevitability of mortality, of mortality. Approaching Gilgamesh, I presented him with the herb I had procured. But rather than seeking immortality, the king recognized the wisdom of embracing his own mortality and the legacy he would leave behind. With gratitude in his eyes, he declined the herb, acknowledging the importance of living a life filled with purpose and compassion. Inspired by his newfound perspective, Gilgamesh became a benevolent ruler, dedicating his reign to improving the lives of his people. As for me, I continued my studies and practice of medicine, incorporating the wisdom gained from my journey into my healing methods. The pursuit of immortality shifted into a quest for improving the quality of life for all those who sought my aid. And so, the legend of Gilgamesh and his quest for immortality intertwined with my own journey as a healer. In the heart of ancient Iraq, the realm of Uruk flourished with a newfound understanding of medicine, a legacy that would endure for generations to come. This story explores the journey of a young healer, Nora, inspired by the legend of Gilgamesh, highlighting the importance of embracing mortality.